day so far. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And today we're going to be reading a biography book. And a biography is a story of a very special person in time. So today we're going to read about Yvonne Goolagong. Are you ready? All right. So Little People, Big Dreams, Yvonne Goolagong, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez, illustrated by Lisa Conceros and published by Quattro. Little Yvonne grew up on a hot, dusty farm in Australia. She was the third of eight children, all of them descendants of the Wiracordi people who had lived on the island for more than 60,000 years. Yvonne's family was very poor and couldn't afford to buy her many toys, but one day under the wheel of her father's car, Yvonne found the most amazing treasure, an old tennis ball. She loved that tennis ball so much, her father made her a wooden racket to hit with it. It didn't look like the real thing, but I can start with anything, Yvonne thought. One evening, she discovered a story about a young female tennis player who went to a place in England called Wimbledon and won on its magical center court. She went to bed dreaming about that girl. But taking part in a world-class tennis tournament felt like a fairy tale to a little indigenous girl. Yvonne was not allowed to join a tennis club and had to watch the games through the fence, mesmerizing everything the coach said. Yvonne went to the club every day after day. Finally, the club's manager noticed her. He gave her the keys so that she could teach herself how to play when all the kids were gone. And she did. A tennis coach named Vic Edwards heard about a young girl who could play faster than any other new talent. He asked Yvonne to move to Sydney. There she lived with his family and trained to become a professional player. The day she left home, her mother gave Yvonne a tennis dress made of bed sheets and some very good advice. Do not worry about winning or losing. Just play your best and have a lovely time. It became Yvonne's secret weapon. She didn't think winning was everything and losing was a disaster. Every time she hit the court, she enjoyed her matches and looked forward to the next one. Short after shot, Yvonne made it on all the major tournaments, playing in Sydney, Paris, and in New York. One day she was in Wimbledon. She won the tournament and became number one in the world. She had to wait nine years until she won Wimbledon again. That day there was a very special guest watching her far from the stands, her daughter, Kelly. Yvonne became the first mother to win the tournament in more than 60 years. When she retired, Yvonne kept inspiring the next generation of Australian tennis players, helping young indigenous children make it onto the court. And this is how little Yvonne became the most graceful player the world has ever met, a living legend who breaks barriers every time she hits the ball. Look at that, girls and boys. A very awesome story on Yvonne Goagong. I hope you enjoyed her story. And if you'd like to purchase this book for your collection at home, you can click on the link in my description box below to purchase it. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. All right. Bye bye.